see how these two teams play in this game as they prepare for the opening kickoff. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. So the Badgers have shown over the course of the season that they want to get this guy to football, but you can't just go to him every play. Well, on the road, you especially want to take the crowd out of the game, and the one guy you know who can do it is this wide receiver. The problem you have is this defense, more often than not, is going to be a line to take him out of the game. And that, to your point, Brad, that's where somebody's going to have to step up, whether it's the running game, some of the other receivers, you're going to have to take some of the pressure off of him and really make it a team effort to be able to win this game on the road. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Black five, black five, X seven, Again, he'll get the call. They'll bring him down around the 34-yard line. That's a D. hit immediately. Hey, it's a, it's a first down for this offense that keeps everybody enthusiastic. You can see the momentum that this offense is gaining. The coaches and the players on the sideline are fired up, and hey, it's a new set of downs. He fights forward to about the 43. Three-yard gain by the running back. That makes it second and eight. It's second down, eight to go. Ball on the 43. Watch the team. Watch the team. Watch the team. He's going to try and scramble. Looking for the corner. He's taken down at about the 49. A good quarterback knows when and how to improvise. And if he's got the skills, he can also turn a scramble into something big. He's got the corner. And he's tackled right around the 46-yard line. Second and seven. Ball on the 46. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Quick throw, and they make the stop around the 33 yard line. That's good for the 13 yards. First and 10. Ball on the 33 yard line. made right around the 32-yard line. Here's play number 10 on the drive. Fires out to his wideout. Brought down at the 23. That's good for a gain of nine yards. That'll bring up third and inches. From the 23 yard line, it's third down. Four down, four down. 15's the mic. 15's the mic. I got 15. Red two. Green. Takes it and he's tackled short. The offensive line needs to do a better job of not only handling the defensive linemen, but getting up to the linebackers. That way, the ball carriers will have a little bit more room to get to that second level. When you're running the ball for big chunks of yards like that, you've got something working. And this is the 13th play of this drive. A yard, maybe two on the carry. Good stop there by the freshman. You gotta be careful with this offensive attack because one missed tackle could mean trouble. 
from the 11 yard line. It's second down. He's on the run. And he's taken down at the two yard line. Unbelievable. They can't get this offense off the field. Oh, they've been like a machine on this drive. Very methodical and efficient. And once again, they're moving the chains. This is play number 15 of a very impressive drive. And down he goes, just outside the goal line. Second down and goal. One yard to the goal line. They bring him down in the backfield. This is the 17th play of this drive. Touchdown, Badgers! Took it in for the score. Yep, he punched that in from a short distance. He had great blocking up front on that play. And he hits the PAT. A long 17 play, 73-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. And Brad, right now, the offensive line just winning the battle in the trenches, opening up some big run. Sends it sailing downfield. And they can forget about returning this one. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. Three down, three down. Check 59. Mike, Mike is 59. Black with five. Motion, motion, motion. Oh, 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 oh. Gets to about the 27 yard line. He gains a couple of yards That's on the carry. Two on the play. Play. That, that makes, makes it second, second and eight. eight. This game's already shaping up to be a good one as we head to the second quarter. Wisconsin's lead is a touchdown. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about Man, set to start the second quarter. I don't even know why this team showed up. Here we go. I, I got it. it. I got it. I got it. He's scrambling. He's tackled in the open field. From their own 27-yard line. Third down. Check 59. Mike, Mike is 59. Mike is 59. Yes, 48. Now he's scrambling. They'll be short of the first down after that unsuccessful running play. A nice job here by the defense of holding firm and forcing a fourth down. Booming kick. Brought down at the 29-yard line. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Wisconsin up seven points. Tackle at the 32-yard line. Call it a game of three yards. That makes it second and six. It's second down, six yards to go. Ball on the 32. Watch 48. Watch 48. Right cross right. Let's go. Red two. He makes it to the 32 yard line. tries to buy some time. They'll bring him down around the 32-yard line. When you get in these third-down situations, a confident offense expects to get the yardage they need on the ground. It's a good job by the defense to shut that down. It's away, and it's a booming punt. He gets out to about the 32-yard line. 
returns for a gain of eight yards. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. And they'll get him in the backfield. Two-yard loss for the halfback. That's a loss of two yards on the play. That'll bring up second and 12. Second down, about 12 yards to go. Ball on the 30. Three down. Check 59. Mike. Mike is 59. Mike. Three. They go with a screen here, and the halfback's got it. He's taken down right around the 34. That's a down four on the play. That'll bring up third and eight. And he's level at the 26-yard line. That makes it fourth and long. After the sack, it's now fourth and long. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. He makes it out to maybe the 33-yard line. Wisconsin's team, when you look at them, I think they got to be happy with how versatile they can be because they do have a star that is not having a star-type game right now, and yet they got the lead here, and we're almost at halftime. Yeah, I think they've really shown their versatility as an offense. Uh, to think that we would be sitting here close to this first half of being over, and to see that their go-to wide receivers not putting up these big numbers and yet they still have the lead just tells you a lot about their coaching, the in-game adjustments, and the way the rest of the teammates of this receiver stepped up. Two minutes to go in the half. So the Badgers taking their first time out of the half. Wisconsin is up by a touchdown. Looks quick to his tight end, and he can't hang on. Number 48 was the intended receiver on the play. Makes the catch, and the defense is all over him. They bring him down for a loss. That's a loss of about three. They really just didn't have any room to work on that play. The defense just suffocated him there. It looks like they're going to go after this punt. And he's tackled the 37-yard line. Right now, this game's got all the makings of maybe being a nail biter. Yeah, this game just feels like it's going to go well into the second half, probably into the fourth quarter. You almost have a feel that maybe one of the defenses may have to score a touchdown to be able to win this game. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. He scrambled. Now he's going to run and watch out. He's at midfield, and he's tackled at about the 47-yard line. Hey, sometimes the defense does everything right, and they still lose. That time they had tight coverage, which left no options other than for the quarterback to take off. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 47. Scrambling around. He's tackled at the 42. That'll make it second and four. They're about four yards away here on second down. Check 59. Mike. Mike is 59. Mike is 59. Quick throw to the tight end. He gets hit out of bounds at the 38-yard line. That's good for a game of four yards. That'll bring up third and inches. Larry, Larry. Check 59. Mike. Mike is 59. Mike is 59. They'll knock him down for a loss. Makes the typical. All the loss of five yards on the way. Fourth down. He doesn't want to touch back here. He wants to knock this ball inside the 10.
Here's the... Nope, they snap into the up end. That was a great hit. He wasn't getting away from that one. Huge play for the defense. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Wisconsin is up a score. He's on the run. And they make the stop at about the 45. Wisconsin's going to have to use their second time out of the half. It's second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. Got a man tackled for a loss. to scramble but he's sacked man these guys can be aggressive when you stand back there and take hits like that you definitely are going to feel it the next day i guess he'll throw this one as far as he can and hope for a miracle once and all going deep the defender had his hands on it but it's incomplete well we're headed to halftime now and we're seeing two defenses that don't want to give an inch wisconsin leads seven nothing We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. One thing has been apparent in this first half that we just saw. Both defensive coordinators a step ahead of their counterparts on offense. They've had the answer for every formation, every shift, every movement, every motion that they've tried to come up with. So, to try to break free and get something moving on offense, might it be time to show a little trickeration? A little trickeration never hurt nobody. I mean, it's it's something that if you keep doing what you've been doing, you're going to keep getting what you've been getting. And you got to find a way to do something a little bit different because it wasn't working. Let's find some new plays in that book. Let's, let's run a little bit of option. Let's run some reverse. Let's run some double passes. How about we bring a blitz with everybody? Just don't even cover anybody. Just bring everybody. Bring the house. You know, try to do something a little bit out of the ordinary. Try to get a spark going for your ball club. David and I will be keeping an eye on your game and everything else going on in the country here in our palatial and comfortable surroundings in the studio with the best seat in the house. Belongs to Brad Nessler in Kirk Herb Street. Welcome back, everybody. Second half action about to begin. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. Wisconsin's continuing to play extremely tough defense. This has been impressive. It's just been impressive to watch them play with such an attitude, almost a chip on their shoulder with the energy that they're playing with. I think it's going to require that kind of effort to be able to win this game. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Gain of one yard. That brings up second and nine. Second and nine. Ball on the 26-yard line. Mike, Mike is 59. Mike to 59. To go. Uh, nice run to the left there. That makes it third and three. There's a strike complete. Tackle made at the 46. First down. From their own 46-yard line. First down. They come out in a five-wide set. Up the middle for a nice game. Gaining four yards. That makes it second and six. Double tight, guys. Double tight. Three down, three down. Three down, three down. Check three. Check three. Check three. Go. Check 69. Caught a big hit there to stop him. That'll bring up third and four. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four.
Gets it. He's in space. Knocked out of bounds at the 12. Well, the defense was completely out of position. I think the play action really opened things up that time. They completely bit up, thought the running back had the football, and the quarterback had a wide open receiver to make that throw downfield. He's going to try and scramble, and he can't get away from the pressure. That's a few yards away. That'll, That'll bring up, up second, second and 12. 12. And this play is number eight on the drive. Check 59. Mike, Mike is 59. Mike to 59. Here we go, here we go. Here we go. He's into the open field. Gets out to around the six. They're about four yards away here on third down. And the end zone touchdown. Tight end score that time, and with authority. Brady's a physical football player, but he's also got the finesse to make a big impact in the passing game. They'll line up for the extra point in an attempt to tie the game. And he tacks on the extra point. A nine-play, 75-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. Fred, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Time's getting a little bit tighter now. you got to make every possession count. Play action here. He's going to scramble. He's taken off. Brought down around the 37-yard line. That makes it first and 10. From their own 37-yard line. It's first down. The running back gets two on the carry. The sophomore just stuck it to the ball carrier right there. That's a very good tackle. back here got the football he's looking up and he's got a couple defensive linemen closing in on him because they were able to slip off of their blocks really there's nothing he could do at all there that was more of a miscommunication and just getting overmatched up front by the offensive line that's a great tackle at the 24. Fourth and long here after the sack. He really got a hold of that one. And he makes it out to about the 37-yard line. Now's when you start to approach each drive, thinking that if you take the lead, then the momentum you gain feels that much more powerful. Taken down around the 48-yard line. First and 10, ball on the 48-yard line. He's at the 40, and down he goes around the 40-yard line.
you keep gaining negative yards and you put yourself in a position of having to make bigger and bigger plays. It puts a lot of pressure on that quarterback. From the 41 yard line, second down. And he stopped behind the line. From a defensive coordinator standpoint, it can really help out your scheme when you get excellent run support by the corner. Gets it out to an open receiver and just dropped it. Number 10, the intended receiver on the play. That'll make it fourth and 14. They're trying to pin them deep with a solid punt right here. And this one is a beauty. This punt goes over the goal line, and this will be a touchback. It's no surprise seeing this guy having another nice game. Yeah, I think we're all beginning to see that this guy seems to play much faster in person than when you watch him on TV or when you study him on tape. He knows how much each series counts in a game like this, so you can bet he'll be looking for quick stops. You don't want to squander any possessions, but maybe now's the right time to dip into your bag of tricks a little. Think about some gadget plays to catch the defense napping. Gets out to around the 28. That makes it second and two. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Makes it to the 37. So at the end of three, we're even at seven in this one. We played three quarters even. Fourth quarter is going to tell the difference. Four down, four down. Mike 15. Mike 15. Green nine, green nine. Orange three. Orange three. And they get nice yardage on that run. Gaining five yards. That brings them second and five. Second down and five. Ball on the 42-yard line. Hey, look, we're going to go Mike 15, guys. Mike 15, all right? Dead two. Red seven, red seven. Here we go. Check him motion. Check him They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. If these defenders continue to exploit the O-line like that, it's going to be a long day for this running back. Scrambling. Tackle at the 47 yard line. That's good for a game of 12 yards. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 47 yard line. Four down, four down. Watch the team. Dog four. Kill, kill. Runs it left for a decent game. That's a team. That brings him second in five. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Seven yards. Here's the eighth play of the series. Tight end right. Three down, three down. Mike 15. Black five. Black. The defense had that one called perfectly. That's a big play on that ball. Second and 14. Ball on the 39. Here we go, here we go, here we go. 3 15. Gains his way to the 29 yard line. Call the game at 10 yards. That'll bring up 34. Come on! 10th play of the drive. Here 
He's scrambling. He's taken down right around the 18-yard line. That's a game of 11. From the 18-yard line, first down. Just under three to go in regulation. He tackles him for a loss. That's a great play by the defense. There's nothing like a defense being able to slip off of a block, get into the backfield of the offense, and then make a play in the backfield to be able to create some momentum, possibly, for this defense. We're at the 12th play of the drive. Throws complete. He's got room to work. Out of bounds around the 18-yard line. They've been two for two on third downs in this drive, and they'll try to convert again here. It's the tailback. He makes his way out to about the nine. They almost got themselves out of a big hole, but it was not to be. Now they still managed a good gain on third down, and sometimes that's enough to get your confidence back. Kicks up. And it is good, and that gives them the lead. I know that I call kickers head cases, but this kid isn't one. It's like he doesn't even feel the pressure. Wisconsin is ready to kick it away. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Well, I can say this much, Kirk, at least it's tight in the fourth quarter. Well, it is a close game, and neither team's been able to get anything going, whether it's running the football or throwing, and look up at the scoreboard, and at least, as you said, Brad, it's a close game. Who can make a play late to win it? Things aren't tied, but they might as well be. It's this drive that could really dictate the tone for the last quarter. Quick throw. They'll bring him down at the 35-yard line. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Just under two minutes in the game. Scrambling around. He's tackled at the 38-yard line. He scrambled. And he's tackled at the 41. Coming up, ball on the 41. The sub package in there defensively on this five wide receiver set. And a quick throw. He goes out of bounds. Right around the 48-yard line. Brad, it's a, it's a first down. And, and a, obviously, this offense right now is trying to maintain possession, trying to get some rhythm going. And for them to be able to pick up a big first down right here allows them to continue to try to get to the position that they ultimately want to get. And that's in the end zone. Pulls it in, and that's a first down. And they make the stop around the 31-yard line. From the 31-yard line, first down. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. This is the eighth play of this drive. Gains his way to the 23-yard line. He's on the run. Tries to scramble, but he's sacked. And he stops the clock with a spike. They line up for another third down, and they've had no problem converting their first two. Mike, Mike is 59. Mike to 59. 
Just a tremendous job by that defense, and their coordinator did a super job there to keep it this close in this ball game. And now the offense has got a chance to win it. It's up. We're going to OT. Well, we've had fun, folks, but we're not done yet because this game is heading to overtime. Back to the action here, and we get ready for overtime. And he hits him hard at the 15. That's good for a gain of 10 yards. That'll make it second and inches. It's second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. Three down. Ready, run, 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 run. Tackled after decent pickup. And a nice run by the tailback. Not a lot of razzle-dazzle here, but it gets the job done and picks up the first down. We've got a first and ten, all on the twenty five yard line. made the nine yard line. Number 11 makes the set at the nine yard line. That makes it first and goal. What was that? It's first down and they'll be looking for six points here. has really held their own the last two plays. Now it's third and goal from the seven. 15 the mic. 15 the mic. I got 15. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Red seven, red seven. Motion, motion. Go. Throws quick to the receiver and it falls incomplete. Oh, man, that was a pressure-packed play, and they came through. Here we go again. The extra point to tie this game up. He makes the PAT. The tension is going to rise a little bit more now. We'll see which team can overcome the pressure. First and 10. Ball on the 25. Dog four. Green eight. Motion. Motion. And they get the sack. Coaches don't like it when their quarterback gets hit like that. Don't be surprised to see the old coach get on his lineman to protect the quarterback a little bit better.
Second and long. Ball on the 32. He's looking for six. Got it. Touchdown, Wisconsin. And he hits the PAT. From the 25-yard line, it's first down. And they got him. This quarterback has to do a better job of avoiding the rush because sacks can be real drive killers. here by this quarterback sitting in until the last second trying to make a play downfield only to have this defense get to him he's got to do a better job maybe feeling things out a little bit but at least he has the awareness and a toughness to sit in that pocket got it touchdown Cornhusker can you believe this it appears two overtimes just aren't enough for these young men. This has just been amazing. These two teams have been playing dead even. Here's the PAT to tie this thing up. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Just like we talked about earlier, now that we're going to a third overtime, the offense must go for two if they score a touchdown. It's first and ten. Ball on the 25-yard line. Fires that quickly to the tailback. And he tackles him hard at the 18-yard line. I think he could have taken a risk down the field, but he played it safe instead, and that's one of the keys to winning ball games. Makes it out to about the 10. Anytime this guy carries the ball and gets a little space, we could be talking about six. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. He gets out to about the nine yard line. That brings, that brings up second, second and goal. You better bring it. You better bring it. I'm letting you know right now, you better bring it. Check your time. Mike, Mike, Mike. He gets rid of this one. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. Rose to the receiver, got it for the touchdown. So with a first possession in the third overtime, this offense takes it in for six. There's no resting easy yet. They still have to stay on the field and try to convert a very crucial two-point conversion. So the offense will stay on the field and attempt the two-point conversion. Nebraska is up by six. First and ten, ball on the 25. Got a man, but he's tackled back behind the line of scrimmage. Three yard loss there. Really, they just had nowhere to go after the catch. From the 28-yard line, it's second down. And he 
taken down at about the 27 yard line. He guns it to the left. Intercepted. Game over. And this one comes to an end. Our final count in this game, Nebraska 32, Wisconsin 24. That brings this broadcast to a close. For EA Sports and Kirk Herb Street, I'm Brad Nessler. We'll see you soon for another edition of NCAA Football 14.